Sam's with us in Wisconsin. Hi, Sam. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Thanks for having me. I appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Thank you. How can I help? So, a little bit of a unique situation. Uh, my wife and I are on our second home that we purchased from her parents, and her dad so graciously allowed us to uh, purchase it from him, and he is our bank, and it is a 0% interest land contract that he is actually covering the the taxes on. So we're in a great situation. But my question for you today, um, as we are looking at really starting to invest, um, I'm trying to weigh what would be a better return on our money, um, whether that would be to simply pay off our 0% in, uh, interest mortgage as fast as we can, or to do a little bit of both of investing and while paying off our mortgage. Uh, we suggest when you're debt-free, everything but the mortgage, that your next step is to have an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. We call that baby step three. Do you have an emergency fund? Uh, we do, but I know that it's not as much as we should have. Okay. The first thing before we talk about any of this other stuff is it should be three to six months of household expenses in liquid okay. cash that you don't touch for any reason. This is not a, okay. I'm saving up for Christmas or vacation or a house or anything else. This is a, an emergency fund. Okay? okay. Then once you've done that, then we do baby steps four, five, and six at the same time, but in that order of priority. Four is 15% of your household income going into retirement, and that would be matching 401Ks, Roth IRAs, you know, traditionals, whatever, along those lines, and you're filling up stuff in good mutual funds there. And what's your household income? Household income is about $75,000 combined a year. Okay. All right. And so, you know, we're talking about about $9,000 a year, roughly, uh, is your is 15% of your income. Everything above that, then, leaves us for baby step five, which is kids' college. Do you have any kids that you need to save for college? We have one so far. We're in the in the first years of building our family, so yes. Okay. I would start do something. It doesn't have to be dramatic, but I would start something towards the kids' college, $100 a month or something, in a good mutual sure. fund, and um, that's going to be you know that's going to be a blast. And you get that rolling, and then everything else I'm going to throw towards the the mortgage until it's paid off. I do want to get this mortgage paid off as fast as possible, regardless of the 0% interest rate. And here's the reason. It's your largest payment, and as a matter of fact, it's your only payment. And uh, all the data tells us from the 10,000 millionaires that we surveyed that one of the keys to becoming a millionaire is getting your home paid off and keeping it paid off. Okay. And uh, because it frees up cash. Now, you are in more of a danger zone than you feel like you're in with this land contract. Land contracts are very dangerous. Here's why. Anything that happens to your father-in-law or mother-in-law whose name this property is in and they get sued for that could be a lien placed on the property that you feel like you own that you do not own. If they, okay. are, if they are driving down the road and hit a patch of ice and they were driving reasonably and uh, someone gets killed in the car wreck and sues them for $500 million and wins, that lien is going to be placed on the property that you thought you owned because it's not in your name. If okay. they screw I off and go, if they screw off and go run up a big IRS debt, and there's an IRS lien placed on them, it's going to be on that property that they own that you have a contract to buy. Contract for okay. deed is a dangerous ownership methodology. Point being, you could pay $100,000 down on this principal, and 20 minutes before you pay it off, a lien gets slapped on there, and you don't end up with the property that you just paid off. And, okay. and even if he wanted to, I mean, it could be something that's out of his control. I'm not suggesting he's a crook. Worst case scenario is he's a crook, but I'm not suggesting that. But, I mean, life happens here, and you can really get in a mess. So I strongly suggest that you guys get that property put into your name and you convert this from a land contract to a mortgage on a, a mortgage or, or a deed of trust, depending on how your state functions, with a lien on a piece of property that you own. So the deed transfers to you, and you still owe him under the exact same terms, 
the mortgage. And if it costs a little bit of paperwork money to get the lawyer to do that, uh, you pay the bill and get it put into your name before you start reducing this principal. And it has nothing to do with questioning Papa's integrity. Life happens, and it could be out of Papa's control. And then you'd have a really bad situation. And believe me, in 30 years, I've seen it a bunch in doing financial counseling. That's why I'm so strong on it. I hate land contracts.